We're on the Yellowstone River just south of Livingston, Montana. Behind us we have the Absorkey Mountains. Just an amazing river that we can fish some 120 from Gardner right on down to Big Timber and beyond. To be in such a pristine setting and, and to have it on a daily basis, especially when you're with people on vacation that are in awe of what you get to do every single day, that's a pretty amazing thing. The big sky around you, you can look forever and um, the sounds, whether it's the river or just the rippling on the lake um, and, and the wildlife and the sheer lack of people and homes and development, it's, it's a perfect blend. I think once you get touched by a river and the sound of it and the flowing, as many days as I can spend on the water, the better. It's soothing, it's just a part of the natural life cycle and it's such a vital one. There's a respect there and with water you have to always be on your toes. It's humbling and we all need that. You know, I think no matter where you come from, you can find whatever escape you need or just everyday life, whether it's on the river or back in the back country or just small town Montana. You can get away from the rush and the crowd of people everywhere and you can always find some place to escape to, some wildlife to see, some river to float. It's all around you. It's interesting that fly fishing is not just an extension, you know, of the arm, but artistically so, it certainly is. I mean, it's very, it's a finesse sport. There's anything you can want here. For me, it's the solitude, it's the wilderness. For someone else, it might be different. But it's, everyone can find what they need here.